the 2022 baseball season is among us. Before we're looking at that, I want to go over last year's World Series. The Atlanta Braves, you know, arguably like one of the worst teams in the postseason that year, went on to win the World Series in what was quite literally dominating fashion. And after seeing that, it had me questioning, what team truly is the worst World Series champion? What team is the worst of the best? And to that answer that question, I think there's multiple teams you can look at. You know, you can look at the 2000 Yankees, the 2003 Marlins, 1987 uh, Twins, but I think it's the 2006 Cardinals. And not not because, you know, they were objectively the worst team, but because of their fall from grace. This was a team that had won over two one had had won over 200 games in the past 2 years combined, had lost in the World Series in 2004. This was a team that, quite frankly, was looking like they were at the end of their run, you know? But that's not what it looked like they started 2006. They started 2006, that team got off hot. They were 31-17. Pujols, Edmonds, they guys, those guys were blasting the ball. Their pitching was doing well. And then it all fell apart. Pujols got hurt. Edmonds got hurt. Starting pitchers took a major step back from that season, you know? Marcus and Ponson, both both guys who did really good in 2005, major steps back that year. And then they lost their closer, Isringhausen, in September, the surgery. This team was not looking like a World Series champion throughout the majority of that season. I mean, this team was just a shell of itself from 2004 and five. I mean, they had lost Larry Walker to retirement. Sanders left in free agency. Pujols and Roland were really the only two guys who were doing better in their 2006 season than their 2005 season. It was incredible. They had lost roughly 11 war in free agency, and they replaced it with with like 2.5 or 2.8. They they were not look. It was not looking good for them at the start of the season, but. It never really was the offense that the Cardinals looked at, you know? They weren't an offensive powerhouse. You know, they were scoring runs, but outside of Pujols and Edmonds, they really didn't have a bunch of great guys during those 2004 and 2005 seasons. And you can see that when you look at their offensive numbers. I mean, their numbers, like in 2005, they had 100. Their WRC Plus was 100, and it only dropped to 98. Their OPS Plus was 98, and it only dropped down to 97. So offensively, they more incredibly different. They even saw some slight improvements in certain areas. Their isolated power was up and even their OPS as a whole was up. But what really led to this team's demise, what really brought them down, was that pitching staff just completely falling apart. They went from a 3.4 ERA to a 4.7. That, they literally averaged almost a run and a half more from 2005 to 2006. That's just, that's crazy. That's not something you hear of amazing, amazingly. And they had a 15 war in 05. They went all the way down to a seven in the pitching department, which I know war is the best stat, but it just really shows the drop in performance that team had as a whole. Now, statistically, when you look at them, there really wasn't many, any major things that you could point to for the drop off. You know, their pitching stats, their per nine stats were like, they looked very similar. But sometimes all you need is the eye test. And now it's Albert Pujols. In the air. Out to deep left. It is gone. Welcome back, Albert. It's like you never left. Number 680. And he does it back in St. Louis. which did not look good at all. They went from the number one pitching staff in 2005 to the 16th best in 2006. They went from the top dogs in 05 to league average. They went from a team that, you know, they and they relied so much on their elite pitching staff with, you know, a mediocre offense that generally got the timely hits that it needed. But it got to the point where it was mainly their offense that was the better pretty army. I mean, that pitching staff was just terrible that year throughout the whole season. 
You know, and but once this team hit the postseason, that pitching staff turned around. It became one of the most dominant postseason pitching performances from a team as a whole. They rocked a sub three area the whole postseason, and they even scored sixty four runs that postseason. Which, quite frankly, by the time this team hit the postseason, everyone had considered this a bad team. This was not a good team. You know, they'd been through injuries, stuff like that, but they didn't look very good. They didn't look good at all. But they hit that postseason, they hit it hard, and they hit it running, man. They came at every opponent. They can just everyone they came after. They just hit them and hit them and hit them and hit them until they got that knockout blow. And they didn't waste any. They didn't waste any time with their uh, first series against the. Padres, where they bested them three to one, thanks to two strong starts from Chris Carpenter and Adam Wainwright, who just dominated in the bullpen for him. You know they lost Isringhausen in September, but Wainwright came in. He just he claimed that down. He was their man that postseason run. He was their guy. He was great for them on the pitching side of the ball for them. And then their next series came against the the favorites. The New York Mets, a one a 97 win team. They were the favorites to win the World Series that year, at least in my opinion. And generally speaking, there was no reason why they wouldn't. You know, that Padres team was a good team. They had 88 wins, but they weren't they weren't some like, you know, you see the Cardinals being here. I'm like, okay, that's not, you know, that's that's reasonable. You can deal with that. But then you see this Mets team lose to this Cardinals team, and you're like, what the hell, bro? Took seven games of just like dog fight after dog fight after dog fight, but the Cardinals were able to edge pa- able to edge past the Mets just slightly, and they're going up against the Detroit Tigers, the '96 win Detroit Tigers. And man, they came into that series ready. They were just they were going. They wanted those cards. They wanted to let people know that this was not a bad team. This was a World Series team. And they let them know. They started that series off with a bang. They beat the Tigers by a score of 7-2 in Game 1. By the time Game 5 had ended, the 2006 Cardinals were world champions. And that was like crazy. That was such a crazy. You look at their run too. They were, this was in their three years. Like just look at their like past three years in 2004, 2005, 2006. Their 2006 team was by far the worst one. It wasn't even close. But that was the team that came through and got it done. That was the team that made it work. You know, I mean, this team, this team couldn't even clinch their postseason appearance until game 161. I mean, they were viewed as the weakest team heading into the postseason. And then no one gave them a shot. They were ran off. They were like, oh, this team just barely got stuck in because they were in a bad NL Central that year. You know, they don't really deserve to be here. And then, boom, next thing you know, they beat the Padres. You're like, oh, okay. They, you know, they got a little lucky, but the Mets, the Mets are going to get them. They're going to steamroll. Boom, game seven. Mets lose, Cardinals advance, World Series. And you're like, okay, some, 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 some fish is going on a little here. I don't know I don't know what they're doing, all right? I don't know what they're doing. And then you saw them go against the Tigers in that game one win, and you're like, holy crap, they're going to do it. You saw that game 7-2, and you're like, this is a team that can win. And this is a team that can do it. You know, they're on fire right now, and nothing's going to stop them. They're going to go all the way. That's exactly what you did. That's, the 2 out of 6 Cardinals, it's just proof of what makes baseball so interesting. You know, you see sports like the NBA and stuff like that. They generally have the better teams winning. But not baseball. Baseball, you just need to get hot at the right time. You get hot at the right time, you can win the World Series, you know? This is a story, the 206 Cardinals is a story of a team that was not good, it was not pretty, but they were world champions. These are your 2006 St. Louis Cardinals.